Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all you done. I am so blessed, my soul has found rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all you've done. And I am so blessed, my soul has found rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. That is such a beautiful song, man. How are you doing, people? Welcome to the Couch Connect, episode number 15, titled Hammer and Chisel. And we are live today from the city of Toronto and the city of Nairobi. And, you know, seeing beautiful songs tonight. Uh, we have a wonderful guest on the show tonight, and we hope that this show is going to speak to your soul and remind you of the love that, god has for you because he has molded you with his hammer and his chisel i'm going to invite our guest over here to sing uh, the first song that uh, we have requested here uh bow the knee There are moments on our journey Following the Lord When God illumines every step we take There are days when circumstances Make perfect sense to us As we try to understand each move He makes when the path grows dim and your questions have no answers done to bow the knee trust the heart of your father when the answer goes beyond what you can see Bow the knee, lift your eyes toward heaven and believe the one who holds eternity. And when you don't understand the purpose of In the presence of the King, bow the knee. There are days when clouds surround us and the rain begins to fall. The cold and lonely winds won't cease to blow. And there seems to be no reason for the suffering we feel. We are tempted to believe God does not know. When the storms arise, don't forget we live by faith and not by sight. Trust the heart of your Father when the answer goes beyond what you can see. Bow the knee, 
Lift your eyes toward heaven and believe the one who holds eternity. And when you don't understand the purpose of his plan, in the presence of the King, bow the knee. In the presence of the King, bow the knee. What a beautiful song, man. Bow the knee. The book of Ephesians, uh, chapter 2, speaks about the love that the Lord has for us. You know, as he chills us, as he chisels us, and as he molds us, you know, to make us a better people, and how important it is when we actually do recognize that you know God loves us and He cares for you and He cares for me. Welcome to the Couch Connect, guys. This is episode number sixteen, titled uh, "Hammer and Chisel," and we are spending the, a couple moments tonight talking about the love of God and you know how He cares for you and how He cares for me. And tonight on the show, we are privileged to have two wonderful young men from the city of Nairobi. I'm going to give them an opportunity to introduce themselves. To introduce themselves. Uh, one of them hasn't been on the show before. Uh, and I believe that it's going to be a wonderful uh, event this evening. Uh, go ahead, brothers. Hey, hi. I am Sido. Uh, yeah, Sido Anyola from Nairobi, Kenya. And I'm pleased to be here. And I'm Naha. I'm also happy to be here. I'm glad to fellowship with you this Sabbath evening. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, so uh, if you've been with us before, you've uh, probably heard me talk about these two gentlemen before. So Nahash and uh, Sido are always uh, you know, trying to uh, work behind the scenes to uh, to make this uh show a success now she's always uh, helping us script the show and uh, zero from time to time will give us a couple of ideas of how we can make this possible and you know as we are moving along in this journey um uh, these two gentlemen will be you know helping us from time to time to to make this show even better so may the lord bless you guys as you know you've tuned in and you're uh, listening to us tonight or this morning for the folks in nairobi um you know, point to note, uh, it's, I think, uh, 3 a.m. right now in Nairobi, and this gentleman, uh, you know, woke up just to be here for you. So it's such a blessing, and may the Lord continue blessing you guys. Uh, so this next request that we have here is before the throne of God, uh, and I'm going to give an opportunity to uh, you guys to go ahead and sing it. Satan tempts me to despair and tells me of the guilt within. Up what I look and see him there, 
who ever lives and pleads for me. One with himself, I cannot die. My sinful soul is counted free. I'll go on him and bite on me. With Christ my Savior and my God. With Christ my Savior and my God. One with himself, I cannot die. With Christ my Savior and my God. Up what I look and see him there. Whoever lives and pleads for me. One with himself, I cannot die. My sinful soul is counted free. My life is hid with Christ on high. With Christ my Savior and my God. 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 Wow, well, what a beautiful song. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm reminded when I'm listening to uh, Sydney sing this song, I'm just reminded of how, um, you know, God has been there for, for you and me. And when, when you're being molded by, by God, I think, first of all, um, we do agree that God formed us and you know, he made us who we are. And every time that I'm thinking about how God is forming me, I think about the carpenter and the carpenter trying to, you know, hold a hammer and a chisel, trying to shape a piece of wood, uh, you know, to turn into some form of shape, or it could be a piece of stone to turn into some sort of, a sh sort of shape, or, you know, to become smoother, or, you know, something like that. So I'm just, uh, uh, I'm going to throw a question here to, uh, uh, to my brothers here. So I'm going to throw a question to Nehash here. Um, uh, how have how has the Lord formed you? How has the Lord molded you? Um, uh, and uh, how have these events, uh, you know, uh, shaped your life? Uh, these events of uh, molding by the Lord. If Nash, you could jump in here. I think hard times. Um, mm -hmm. I think hard times are usually important for growing. I think like a tree needing pruning so that it can bear better fruit. I think God has shaped me through so many problems, through many conflicts, through many trials and temptations, and making of mistakes and getting the consequences of those mistakes, um, which I really see as his way of growing me to be more like him. You know, I was thinking, like, life is always filled with hard times. And someone who has good times may never appreciate the need for God. Uh, someone who always has a good time. But having a mix of the two helps us have a balance between enjoying life as well as trusting God for, you know, taking us through whatever challenges exist. Well, um, <laughs> how many times would I ever consider challenges as uh, moments when God is molding me? Um, uh, you know, if you just joined us, guys, this is the Couch Connect episode number 16. And we are here with uh, Sido, you know, who's giving us uh, beautiful songs, as well as with uh, uh, Nehash, who's uh, wonderful in the keys. And, you know, uh, if you have a moment in your life where you feel like the Lord has molded you, you can write in the comment section and, you know, we can get to, uh, you know, talk about it and reminisce uh, your event. But thanks, Nehash, for sharing that event. Challenges, you know, really, really do mold us. The next request that we have here is um, uh, a, a famous song, a common song uh, that speaks to the love of God, you know, this love that molds us, Amazing Grace. If you have a request, you can write in the comment section and we will get to sing it together. Why don't you take away Amazing Grace, brothers? <laughs>
Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. And I once, once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. But now I see When we've been there Ten thousand years Bright shining as the sun We've no less day to sing God's praise than when we'd first begun. I have already come Tis grace that taught me Safe thus far And grace will lead me home Tis grace taught me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. Wow, well, uh, how, how much love, you know, God has for us that, uh, first of all, he sent his son to die for us. And also he has, you know, made it possible for us to be led home, to be led to, you know, heaven. And it's, it's, it's very amazing. The next request here actually, is, you know, speaks to the same love that you've just sung about, um, uh, how deep the Father's love for us. Uh, this is a song that uh, speaks to me, and I hope that it speaks to you as well as watching us. If you just joined us, this is the Couch Connect episode number uh 16 titled hammer and chisel we are singing songs that remind us of god's love and how his love molds us and makes us better people and you know uh, turns us into uh, amazing people uh, you know by molding us with with his love if you have a song request you'd like us to sing write it in the comment section and we will try to sing it together with this beautiful gentleman over here uh, but right about now i'm gonna hand it over to them and they can take how deep the Father's love for us. How deep the Father's love for us. How vast beyond all measure. That he should give his only son To make a wretch his treasure How great the pain of searing Lord The Father turns his face away As wounds which mar the chosen one Bring many sons to glory. Behold the man upon the cross, my sin upon his shoulders. 
Ashamed I hear my mocking voice Call out among the scoffers It was my sin that held him there Until it was accomplished His dying breath has brought me life I know that it is finished mm. I will not boast in anything no gifts, no power, no wisdom But I will boast in Jesus Christ His death and resurrection Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer but this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot even answer But this I know with all my heart his wounds have paid my ransom, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Well, thank you for that song, Sydney. Um, <clears throat> Uh, like uh, one of uh, our uh, the guys who's watching us over here says, uh, David says, "Amen." What a powerful song with reassuring lyrics. This uh, this is quite amazing, Sydney. I want to ask you a question here, my brother Sid. Uh, Sido. Yeah. Uh, you know, same question that I asked Nehash. Um, you know, you this word is very specific. You know, the words that it that it that, that it, it it says are very specific. Um, what has you know, God done for you, uh, how has God molded you into becoming, you know, who you are? How has he chiseled you with this hammer and chisel, you know, to shape you into who you are? Um, if you can, uh, you know, remember an event that you'd like to talk about, uh, you, you could go ahead and, and speak it over here. Uh, welcome, for, uh, welcome to the Couch Connect, uh, guys. This is episode number 16 of the Couch Connect. We're here talking about uh, hammer and chisel, the love of God that molds us to become better people every day. And if you have song requests that you'd like us to sing, just write in the comment section and we will get to sing them together with you as we are uh, going over you know, this evening. Uh, Sido, why don't you go ahead and answer that question, buddy? So, I mean, uh, well, when I actually think about hammer and chisel, or chisel, uh, I think of myself as a piece of, uh, yeah, piece of food, of course. Uh, so, like, you see, you when when uh, let's say a carpenter is taking a, a, a hammer and chisel, then they are trying to mold something out of. Uh, it can be a board. It can be a nice sculpture and all that and all through this time it's a it's a work in progress right so this is how i look at it uh i am a young person who has not been through a lot in life well people may say that but if you look all throughout the things that you have experienced as a young person, you'll find that you have experienced a lot of things that maybe some may not be seen, some may not be known. And all through this, 
I have come to realize that if I let God do his will, if I try to do my own way, I mean, there's so many, there's been so many things that I have tried to do on my own, my own way. I like, I've set all these goals, all these ways I want to do stuff. But then you find if I do not let God do his way, I will do things. Yes, at some point it will succeed. But in the end, you'll find God's way always works. So me, hammer and chisel, I feel like it's a, a process that is teaching me to trust God, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for very much. I know I've said a lot of words, but <laughs> I just find some sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. The sense in there is this, my brother, that, um, you know, you you have been molded and, you know, you have become better. You've been shaped to become better. Um, uh, we uh, have a, another request over here. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Um, and I think this request actually speaks to what you just said, uh, Sido, that you are molded and invited to stay closer to Jesus all the time. And um, we have a comment here from our uh, Ekago Farms Limited. Uh, who says, like Job, God molds us as his vessels through trials that come into our ways, but he enables us to be overcomers. Yes, it's grace through love. Uh, take it away, brothers. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There, a precious fountain, free to all the healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain near the cross near the cross be my glory ever till my raptured soul shall find Rest beyond the river Near the cross A trembling soul Hoping, trusting ever Till I reach that golden track just beyond the river near the cross in the cross be my glory I reach that golden strand just beyond the river near the cross, O Lamb of God, O love and man. See, found me there, the bright and morning star sheds its beams around me in the cross, in the cross. Be my 
glory ever till I reach that golden strand just beyond the river. touched by the words of that song, man. Uh, we have a request over here by one of the members of our audience. Um, uh, wonderful, I think Miss Dorcas probably meant wonderful, merciful savior. Um, um, I think it's the one that goes, you are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and as as you guys are finding the lyrics for that, um, uh, welcome guys to the Couch Connect. This is episode number sixteen, titled "Hammer and Chisel." We are singing and talking about God's love for us that molds us to become better people, and you know, takes us through tough situations so that we can uh, come out of you know the crucible, out of these painful moments, better people, and. I was just thinking about experiences that I've gone through that have molded me to uh, become who I am. And I think one of the things that I've really never gotten over is, um, but I think daily molds me, is the, you know, the, the loss of a, a loved one. I think I've, I've lost quite a number of people who are close to me. And one person that comes to my mind is my grandmother. And I remember I've talked about this extensively. And over time, I found meaning in it. But, um, you know, every time that I think about uh, my grandmother's death, um, it takes me through, uh, a, you know, back to a very, a very tough period of my life. Uh, and I think going through that period of my life uh, turned me around in the way that I trust God, in the way that I, that I look at God, in, in how I see God's hand in everything. I think the best thing that came out of it is that I stopped finding meaning in her death and actually started finding meaning in my life, you know, staying alive in God. And I think that this is the best way that I would, uh, I would make my grandmother happy that if, you know, she were alive, you know, to see me uh, turning out to be a young man who's trying to uh, find his way in this world that is, of course, very tough. Uh, uh, you know, that keeps inspiring me daily. And as we're singing uh, Dorcas's request here, may these words remind you that, you know, anything that you are going through is a moment that can turn around and, you know, make you a better person. Why don't you guys take it away? Wonderful, think, merciful savior. The, the other song that comes into my head, I mean, mm -hmm. putting what is in my brain into words, it's usually a hard thing for me, but when I think of certain things, like when you're mentioning our grandmother, so what, whatever happens, the song that comes into my head is, Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Maybe we can just, we can just maybe do the chorus. Before we do wonderful mercy, because it's really a song that I feel, I feel it yep. would really fit. Yeah. Trust in Jesus, 
I've learned to trust in God through it all, through it all. I've learned to depend upon His Word again, through it all, through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Then comes a verse that is really, it has like a lot, it has like a lot of meaning like, Anyway, let me just sing it. I don't know how to speak. I can sing. <laughs> Listen. I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave blessed consolations that those trials come to only make me strong Ooh, through it all through it all i've learned to trust in jesus i've learned to trust in god through it all i've learned to depend upon his word and I've learned to depend upon God's word you know I mean in life you'll go through things and I don't know sometimes you even ask yourself is God really with me I mean this God I wake up every morning pray to first before I go to sleep I pray to before I eat I pray to I mean there's these situations you go through until you really ask yourself these questions and I've I mean through it all learn to trust in him and you'll be fine whatever the situation yeah so I guess we'll do the other song right yeah um, I think we can combine the two requests that I've seen. Uh, wonderful, merciful Savior and tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, which go in line with just what we've talked about right now. So Florence Mwango, thank you so much for suggesting tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. So we'll start with wonderful, merciful Savior. <laughs> Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have thought that a lamb would rescue the souls of men? Oh, you rescue the souls of men. Counselor, Comforter, Keeper, Spirit we long to embrace. You offer hope when our hearts have hopelessly lost our way. Oh, we've hopelessly lost our way. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace. Our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for.
Almighty, infinite Father, faithfully loving your own, here in our weakness we hunger, falling before your throne. Oh, we falling before your throne. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace for our hearts always hung, hungering for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace. Our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. Hearts always hunger. For oh, our hearts always hunger for. That was really beautiful. so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to How I live, how I've proven, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, all for grace to trust Him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust him, precious Jesus, Savior and friend, and I know that he is with me, will be with me till the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and all. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, all for grace to trust him more. Yes, it is sweet to trust in Jesus Just from sin and self to cease Just from Jesus simply taking Life and rest and joy and peace Jesus, Jesus how I trust him, how I've proved him more and all. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, all for grace to trust him more. 
Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, all for grace to trust him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust the precious Jesus, Savior and friend. And I know that Thou art with me, will be with me till the end. I know that thou art with me, will be with me till the end. Absolutely amazing. This is the Couch Connect, guys. If you just joined us, this is episode number 16, Hammer and Chisel. We have been talking about how the love of God is like a hammer and a chisel, keeps hammering us to make us better people, uh, keeps molding us to, uh, you know, make us a better person and uh, show who we are. Um, our next request over here is a song by Nehash. Uh, apparently, Nehash knows the song that is requested, so... Um, Nash, I'm going to uh, ask you to jump in here and uh, take your request. And this is the second to the last request for the night. So after this, we'll have my one more request and then we'll be done. Nash, why don't you take it away, brother? I'm going to sing a song called Tears, which is an original, which is for those times where we are being hammered and chiseled, and we feel like, um, you know, these are tears. Um, there's something I read in a book that was saying that what if tears uh, came to clean your eyes uh, so you could see a bigger picture? And I was thinking about a, a story about leprosy that I had of a doctor who's treating leprosy in the realize that people who have leprosy don't get their fingers dropping or their feet dropping because of the disease, but it's because leprosy takes away your ability to feel. So if you can't feel, then you'll touch some fire and you won't know it's fire. So you'll end up getting burnt and you won't realize. And I was thinking to myself, what is, what, what if that's why pain exists so that we could, you know, learn this is bad and turn to God who can help make everything beautiful yeah wow so I, I love that concept just, buddy <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Just, just maybe to add on on that uh if, if i don't know if you guys have noticed i've been well intentionally mixing up lyrics for some some songs uh you see like making a song making a song is is a whole process right so the way you're saying going through pain is is uh is a way of maybe 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 we need this pain to know that we need to be this way i mean Amma, we need to to know something and just so the way making a song when somebody is making a song uh you take this part you take uh, some lyrics here some words from here and put them together put a tune together then it's a song right but really for something to make i feel like for some songs for me for something to make meaning it needs this whole sort of arrangement depending on what message you want to bring through right so if god really wants to show something in your life he maybe he might let you go through some things so that it's a process for you to become what he really wants you to become mm. I'm, am i making some sort of sense you are making sense <laughs> and 
to molding in the process. I think even even me as a writer, whenever I'm writing a song, like sometimes I write a song and I'm like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't really bring out what I I would like to. Yeah. I'm feeling what I'm going through at the moment, and it takes a lot of wanting to rearrange that. Yeah. And God can knows since He knows what the end product should be like which is like us in his image, he can rearrange so many things in our lives, which may be uncomfortable for us. But in the end, it's like a beautiful song that you keep on listening and repeat. like the birds singing out there <laughs> and i like what you said you know the one for this song the what if these tears are there to clean our eyes so that we can see a bigger picture and the one thing that i'm thinking about right now is uh you know how god takes care of these birds i want to imagine that god takes these birds through a crucible of their own through a hammer and a chisel of their own to make their experience lovely in its own way and what if he's doing that for, for us, for you and me? If you just joined us, guys, this is the Couch Connect episode number 16, titled Hammer and Chisel. Tonight on the show, we have Nehash on the keys, and Sido is blessing us with this beautiful voice. We are down to our last request for the night, Ancient Words. And um, uh, if you've had an experience tonight, you know, you felt like uh, you want you want to share uh, what your experience has been in the past. You know, you can write in the comment section and we will get to read it together over the next couple of episodes as we are, uh, you know, fellowshipping together on this uh, beautiful episodes of the Couch Connect. So, Sido, why don't you take away ancient words? Preserved for a walk in this world, they resound with God's own heart, or let the ancient words impart words of life, words of hope, give us strength. 
help us come in this world where we roam ancient words will guide us home ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts or oh, let the ancient words impart holy words of a faith handed down to this age came to us through sacrifice O oh, heed the faithful words of Christ. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own heart. O oh, let the ancient words impart ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts or oh, let the ancient words impart ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts or oh, let the ancient words impart ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts or oh, let the ancient words impart we have come with open hearts or oh, let the ancient words impart well thank you very much uh, <laughs> Guys, this has been the Couch Connect episode number 16, titled uh, Hammer and Chisel. And, uh, you know, if you've been with us for the duration of this show, you have uh, probably experienced a couple of uh, moments where you've seen how God has molded you and has, uh, 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 you know, uh, touched who you are. And I just want to uh, tell you that uh if you have had such a moment you know you can write in the comment section we'll get to celebrate this together if you are new to this show we are inviting you to subscribe to our youtube channel so that every time when we go live or when we post new videos you can get to be blessed with beautiful moments like this and may god continue blessing you every day i just want to give a shout out to everybody who's been on the show tonight i want to give a shout out to our kenyan producer abner who's been working really well, you know, on the show tonight. I want to give a shout out to our um, Canadian producer, Mr. Kevin, for the wonderful job that is done on the show. I also want to give a shout out to Nehash and uh, to Sido, who have uh, been wonderful guests on the Couch Connect tonight. And we hope to have them over and over again. And thank you for the wonderful job that you're doing. Everybody who's watched us tonight, we also want to give a shout out to you. Thank you, Florence, uh, Benny, uh, Miss Dorcas, David, Keogua, Clinton, uh, for your comments. All these words that you guys say, they keep inspiring us to be uh, who we are. Thank you very much, guys. See you next time. This has been the Couch Connect episode number 16, titled Hammer and Chisel. Until next time, adios, people.
Ancient words, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts, or oh, let the ancient.